I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John 14, 27. The sadness and the pain of death make it particularly difficult sometimes. To write all one want to write about a lost loved one. We are gathered here to mourn and celebrate the passing of the mighty man. Almost all of us called him Uncle Wallace. He was a great man and has undoubtedly been the backbone of the family. His unexpected death has created a great vacuum that will take a really long time to fill. Uncle Wallace always had the interest of the family at a heart, and as a result, majority of the heavy bridge industry staff were family members. Our eyes fill with tears, and our hearts are grieving. But we have a little bit of consolation, for we know that death is the only pathway into the land where there is no pain nor sorrow. We rest in the assurance that Uncle Wallace is at peace at the right hand of the Lord. But now, shall anyone come looking? We leave them worse with the book of Proverbs 17:19, which says, For the good man is not at home, he is gone a long journey. May your soul rest peacefully and perfectly with the Lord and the Almighty. Uncle Wallace, amen and amen. Wonderful family. Thank you, Aleno, and be you. Sisi, 
ke to wo papa gbele ni mi e ke ja le no ni mo ko ke bo ke ha ko bo kristo e o tele ye si kamo mi mene gbine ke ya ne ne ba ton no e ja ke wala ni wo yo mi ne je wo no ni o mo ko gro de ja ye abu a ni no fe no mi e wo wo o ye run ni wo po bo e ja ke bo ji agbe na anyo ngo ke jo ju e mo ko be igbe no ni eju ona wo da o si ye ni bi papa fe no fe o awo wa ta nre to ani ni e kristo yesu ba mi Tens chapter one verse three to four. It is with a different sense of loss, sadness, and sorrow that we rise to pay tribute to our dear brother Emmanuel, who we all affectionately called Uncle Wallace. He was the fifth born out of the eight children. As we could all remember, after establishing the Heaven Bridge Industries Limited, you employed most of the family members. You were kind to all who came close to you in your own small ways. You shared a little you have it all. You made sure anyone who comes in contact with you feels at home. We, sorry, you were hard working disciplined and creative. You were always there for us, and even for your nephews and nieces. Our children shall forever miss you and remember all the good deeds you had you have done for them. Fond memories of your beautiful days will forever be in our hearts. Brother Yima, your passing was very traumatic and unexpected. Even in your 70s, you still were a very strong man, full of vigor and life. So the news of your death took us completely by surprise. Uncle Wallace. Uncle Wallace watching his peace with internal happiness. Rest peacefully till we meet again at the sound of the trumpet on the resurrection day. May God keep you in Abraham's bosom. May your soul rest in heaven. Yahujuba. The for ourselves alone. And now our first time for ourselves alone. We live. We live for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Romans 14, 7 8. 7 to 8. It's for some honor to dwell in your humble at home. Daddy, as we call him. Daddy, you are a man of principle and fair. As you, his sudden death brings me to see you lie before us today, to see you crushed by the hand of death. Our soul knows to find we saw ourselves in the fact that we will one day see you again. Then you treated us like we were your very own, of course, never forgetting to chastise us. Whenever we were in the wrong in that same process, we remember the compulsory money devotion and your strong love for cleanliness. As you always said, cleanliness is next to holiness. You extended so much hospitality to us. 
that. Some of us, they remain in your household, even after we have built houses on our own. Because you made us feel completely at home. We remember the little pieces of advice and motivation you always used to give us to pursue our dreams. And not forgetting the way we during the pandemic. We say thank you. Death does snatch you away from us too soon, but you take the solace in the fact that you are at peace wherever you are now. Sleep well, Daddy. We shall meet again. Rest in perfect peace. Amen.
and forty. What best year you be in it?
Et Jésus-Christ est trouvé les héros. Amen. Je vois les voilà pour être là. Salut, salut, salut. Là, là, c'est une fois, elle est venue, elle va prendre la chine, ça n'est pas. On va me faire un peu de travail. Et là, elle est venue, elle est venue, elle est venue, papa. Et voilà, je l'ai mis en salle. Il y a une fois, elle est venue, elle est venue, elle est venue. Passed away. Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. The late Mr. Emmanuel, the late Mr. E.B. Botefio, was born in Nongwa on 20th day of February 1944. To the late Mr. Botefio Bokete Kofi of Botewe and Madame Ajoko of Ni Ajinwe. All of blessed memory. He was the fifth child of his parents. Mr. E. B. Botefio started his formal education at Nungwa Presbyterian School, where he completed Form 4 and received his middle school certificate. After successfully completing middle school, he proceeded to Nungwa Secondary School, but was unable to complete due to financial constraints. He was baptized in 1958 by Reverend T. T. Lai in Nungwa Zimmerman Presbyterian Church. It was the brain behind the Zimmerman Brass Band and massively supported the Friday Bones. Uncle Wallace, as he, as he was affectionately called, then decided to learn a trade when he, when he dropped out, of, out from school thus. He put himself into, and he put himself into Goldsmith Apprenticeship under Mr. Bokete Ewuwe of Nungwa Jingewi. He became a master and started business on his own for some time, but later branched into a driving business under his brother, Mr. Okotongo. He learned and became a master, bought his own car, and started his own, his own transport, his transport business. Jesus Savior Pilot Me, written at the back of his vehicle, changed to observe, to observers are worried and later changed to New Plan. A name that made him very popular across the gas states. He worked in the transport business for a very long time. After the transport business, Uncle Wallace established the Heaven Bridge Industries, the Heaven Bridge Industry Limited, situated behind the Ghana Commercial Bank Training School at Nungwa Adubono in 1988, where he produced 13 different alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. Heaven Bridge Industries Limited became a household name, name in Nungwa with a workforce of over 100. The industrious man later joined hands with a Chinese ginseng company and started producing ginseng alcoholic drinks. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't just stop there. It doesn't just stop there. He added the sale of edible oil imported from India and opened a, and opened a sleeper factory in addition to this already booming organization. 
In the year 2003, he traveled to Washington, USA for a business college app. Leaving his children as caretakers of his already massive empire. In 2004, he became a sub chief of Botewe Peter Humanche, but later decided not to be a sub chief anymore in 2006. Many a times, but it was all for the best. It kept us grounded and it's, and it's what he made us. We are today. Father always encouraged us to take the word of God seriously. He was a non-nonsense man who always organized morning devotions. And all his tenants could bear witness that it was obligatory to join. He was well to do with, but we are brought up with iron fist. He also said he made money on earth, so we should work hard in order to make more than he did. One thing we will never forget about our dad for sure is that he instilled this entrepreneurship in us, and it is not coincident that we are all entrepreneurs. He made us believe and understand that hard work never kills a man. He again taught us that sleep is for the weak. Remember he told us countless times, a good name they say is better than riches. Therefore, we should live a purposeful life. We, stood, we stand here today saying nothing but thank you, Dad, for we have not regretted what you taught us. As we stand here today saying nothing but thank you, Dad, for we have, for we have not regretted that you taught us and stood for. Though we never understand you in certain ways, we are very proud of you. And you are really grateful for that bringing and everything else. Our wish was for you to be discharged from the hospital and come back home to us. But little did we know that God has another purpose for you. Our hearts are heavy with the pain of your death. But who are we to condemn the handiwork of God? We console ourselves, knowing it is God Almighty who is and takes at his own will and time. We will forever miss you as our Heavenly Father. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their deep follow them. Revelation 14, 13. You can tell me them, like a dream. Even though you were ill, it never occurred to me that I would be mourning your demands this soon. I kept praying that the Lord would grant you divine healing. But as the Bible says in Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. I tell solace in this scripture. Having been together for close to two decades, we were, we sure did have our little misunderstanding, for you were a non, no nonsense man. But we ultimately had happy and wonderful moment that I will forever treasure. Thursday, 13 August 2020, started as a normal day for us, until after usual daily devotion, when your health further deteriorated as we had to rush you to the Family Health Hospital where you pass away after the frantic effort of the doctors through food sir. You were my teacher, counselor, and friend. You did not hinder my Christianity. You were a responsible, loving, kind, helpful, and dedicated husband. Even though I, I am disrespected by your health, by your death, I take consolation in the fact that you are now at rest and free from any illness. You were a pillar of strength, even until your last breath. Rest peacefully in God's presence, dear husband, for there is fullness of joy in his right hand side. 
thank you for being a huge part of my life. Rest well in the bosom of the Almighty. I love you, Daddy. Rest in peace. Amen. 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 Wambiake oyemo ato wo kadi wambiake oyemo wo he no kan wo boni afi ni wo lebo ake anokwa no mo ke na no wa ya yesu christo gbe amen amen wo pe bi e mena su ha le bi ne no da na anyo mo shi e wo che yi manwe bo kete o te fi o wa la he wo ye afi ni na anyo mo ke dro le Wanda na anyo mo shin ya ejije fe ni eto mo ni efe ya ha asafo ya ha weku wanda na anyo mo shin na ne wo ye asafo e fe na je nwe wo ha weku e agafo ya to ko ko ni pa na je doctor donatay de benza na je ya sa shi fe na je wo ha weku e agafo so wo ni pe ke o ni no ko ba ta chane me ba ni o se wo ko eh e Hallelujah. <laughs> We need to make good use of the time and opportunities the Lord has bestowed upon us. Oh, yes, you got you. Oh, yes, you got you. The question is, you must put your ass in order. Samosia, if I can only be on the new job, I can go. If I never want to, if I never want to, if I never want to, Samosia, oh, yes, you can't say that you can't say that.
I find no shower for a good chance. Shower for my other I can't go to the next one. 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 I